Yo, I had a solid trade on British pound yen last night um, around the European market open. This is a strategy or an approach that I've been, that I was doing well with last year. Um, started trading New York instead of European market open because I wanted to sleep at night. But now that I'm staying up again and bartending in the evenings, it's a little easier to be awake at those hours. Um, I thought I'd share a little breakdown looking for head and shoulders, double tops or double bottoms into support and resistance levels, the breakout and retest of the neckline. That's a money maker. Made like 4% on a 50k account with my Forex funds in a stage two. Let's get it. Check it out. Coming into support from the day before. It was on the 50 minute time frame. It's about 3.30 a.m. Half hour after European markets open. Down to the one minute. Started to take buys. You can see a bit of shape of a left shoulder head, bit of a right shoulder, even smaller like a left head, right, super small. Where is the trade history? You can see the buys in here. See what happens. Once it's moved up a bit, I move my stops up, protect that risk. You know what I'm saying? Half hour candlesticks just closed with a big rejection. Could be a good sign. I'm not really looking for engulfing candles as much with this approach, but there's things to be aware of. See what happens. Back on the one minute. Super rough, but just to give an idea of time frame and how long to be patient for. If you draw that out, if this bottom holds, you could place this summer somewhere around like that. Give it another half hour to 20 minutes before it might break out of this box, then continue back up here. We shall see. Kind of neat with this box, touches the top, hits the bottom. Um, after, if this happens to be a significant low in the day, you could call it harmonics, where the price action leading into it is kind of the same as the price action leading out of it. And this little spike here, I was somewhat expecting a final quick dip down before potentially continuing upwards. Starting to see an even bigger left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Might see it pop up. I spread my stop losses out, or sorry, my uh, take profits out as well. With my final TP being just higher than the previous highs. Kinda neat. Let's get it. Give me more than a rack. I want it. Meanwhile, while you're sleeping, I'm out here, you know what I'm saying? Back on the half hour, you can see these wicks on the downside. They're kind of like fingers gripping into these buttery price zones. Signs of rejection. Go this way. Back on the one minute, just to share. If this was on a much, on an even smaller time frame, this little consolidation, if we continue to just chill in this area around here, right at the neckline of this inverse head and shoulders, it's kind of like when I was taking buys here, if this was a mini inverse head and shoulders, this little consolidation around the neckline usually is followed by a pop higher. Um, so basically what I'm expecting it to just kind of chill around this area and then at some point just, we will see. Probably going to bed soon. 
Weird. Da, 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 da. Hooray. What to do exactly what I said? Fuck yeah, bud. What's the profit on it? Rest about 700 bucks. A little three to one. I pulled the last piece because it's a quick move and I just want it. Super neato.